Good morning, Facebook. I hope everyone's having a good Friday morning. I am coming to you from Arizona. Don't let the sweatshirt fool you. I'm just trying to pretend that it's colder outside, I guess. It's probably, I don't know, in the 80s or something. Um, it's supposed to be 90 today, so I just wanted to wear my sweatshirt, so I put it on for now while I can until it gets too hot. Um, welcome everybody. My name is Ashley Beeman. I am a health and fitness coach through Beachbody. I help people achieve their goals with health and fitness and I also help people build businesses just like mine. And today I wanted to come to you guys to talk about something that I am very passionate about and that um, comes up every single year. And, and just kind of share some stories with me. So I decided, I, I was talking about this on Snapchat yesterday and I made a post about it on uh, my Facebook page, but I think it's something that really needs to be discussed, especially right now, especially a couple days before Halloween and you know after Halloween, all of the holiday madness happens. So I'm gonna wait a second, see if anybody else is gonna get on. If you guys could hear me, let me know. Um, I don't want to keep you too long because I know that everyone has is very busy and um, I want to honor your time. So, so what I want to talk about today is reaching your goals through the holidays, not letting the holidays win, not just like shutting down for two months out of the year and then waking up on New Year's Eve feeling like crap, gaining, you know, 10 to 15 pounds and just, you know, a lot of people, once Halloween hits, they just shut down and they say, you know what, I'm not, I'm going to be too busy. I am not going to focus on myself through this time. I'm going to worry about everybody else. I'm going to eat whatever I want because I'm stressed out. I'm going to drink whatever I want because I'm stressed out and I'll deal with it all on January 1st. But what would happen if you decided to not go that route? What would happen if you decided that instead of of um, putting everybody else first, instead of of stressing about all this and eating all this crap that's gonna make you feel like crap. What if you took some time to make a plan and set that plan in place so that you feel good through the holidays, so your stress is lowered, so that you can be, you know, the mom or the wife or the husband or the dad that you wanna be throughout the holidays instead of being full of stress and then wake up on New Year's Eve feeling even better about yourself. I can tell you guys, uh, a few stories about about me um, before I became a coach before I was a mom I remember um, before we even got married I remember the the Christmas before before that we got married in May and this was Christmas and um, basically had let myself go basically ate everything drank everything under the Sun um, it was just something that turned into of instead of like certain days and parties and stuff to like all the time and I remember um, my sister-in-law asked me to be let, like, let's do, once the New Year's hit, let's do a weight loss challenge. You know, my wedding was coming up um, and all of this. And so I remember the two weeks in between Christmas and New Year's, I remember telling people that I was just eating everything I could because I wanted to gain as much weight as I could in order to have more weight to lose. Because I thought, you know what, I, I would joke about it. I probably in the in my head it probably wasn't a great idea but that's what I would tell people and I would just you know pig out and everything and I just remember feeling like crap afterwards I actually and this is another point I actually got into um, an accident on New Year's Day and I wasn't able to work out or do the things that I wanted to do for a really long time so in hindsight if I would have you know taken a different approach to that and I would have actually put myself first and my health first and stuff I probably would have um, healed faster from my accident. I probably would have been in a better spot um, when that happens. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, life happens. So, um, anyways, you know, I ended up going into my wedding not, not feeling, not where I wanted to be. And part of that was because of the decisions I made during that time. So, the last two months of the year are not a time for you guys to shut down. It's not a time for you guys to just go haywire on everything that's out there. So, you know, that was one part of my story. Another part of my story was a couple years ago when Max Insanity 30 came out, I decided to commit to that program over the last two months of the year. 
and I decided to commit to my nutrition. I wasn't like a stickler, like I'm not having this on this day or whatever, um, but I committed to that program. I did it every single day. I followed the calendar. I set out a plan of when I could, you know, go off of my nutrition, when I could have um, wine and things like that, and I felt freaking amazing. Not only did I feel amazing through the holidays, I, I just remember having so much energy, my stress levels were lower, um, and I went into that year, I believe that was 2015, like 2014, going into 2015, in the best shape of my life. Better shape than I was in high school. And it's all because I took some time to make a plan. And this is what I wanna tell you guys. These are my tips for you guys. Um, that was my little story time, but these are my tips for you guys to stay on track throughout the holidays. And so that you can feel good about yourself, so that you can be the best person that you can be for your family, for your friends, for everything that you have going on. Because if you don't put yourself first, then then you're really putting yourself last and you don't want to do that because you can't be the best person that you can be. And I don't want you guys waking up on New Year's Day feeling like crud. I remember one more story. I remember another time, this was in between all of that, that um, I did follow some workout plans. I kind of was following nutrition, but again, those two weeks between Christmas and New Year's came and I just blew everything. I was sick because I had, I was, I was following a plan throughout the whole year and then I just kind of went haywire for two weeks. I was sick for a couple weeks and I remember my energy being low and, and just not being able to start the new year like I wanted to. So I want you guys to be able to start the new year like you want to. Okay, so here are my four or five tips that I have. I, I kind of made notes so I would stay on track um, for you guys to reach your goals by the end of the year because there's still time to reach those goals that you set for 2016. There's no excuses. You guys have 60 days. That is so much time. And I'm saying going off of Tuesday. I'm not even saying now. You have a couple more days till then. Um, but the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to set two, two or three goals that you want to achieve during these 60 days. Maybe it's that you want to get in all your workouts. Maybe you want to make sure and um, get your water intake in. Or maybe you want to lose five pounds. Maybe you just want to maintain your weight and that is okay. Maybe you just want to show up every day and be the best person that you can be. I would pick two or three goals that you want to achieve by the end of the year. And then I want you to create a plan. I want you to get out, um, I'm gonna show you guys my workout calendar that I just printed off of Beachbody On Demand. This is the current workout calendar that I'm doing. You could print out a blank calendar. You could actually make your own calendar, like on a piece of paper, just draw the lines in for two months. So I want you to create a plan with your exercise. Um, what will you do for exercise every day? What is maybe something extra that you'll do? Um, for instance, I'm going to, I'll share with you guys my plan right now. My plan is to finish out hammer and chisel, um, and to get, um, 10,000 steps per day. So that's an extra thing that I'm adding into there. And I have all of the days that I work out. I have them all written down. I have all of my, um, my days where I have, uh, rest days or, or off days and things like that written in this 60 day plan. And then you need to make a plan for your nutrition. What kind of nutrition are you going to follow? What are you, what guidelines are you going to set for yourself? Because I think that's important. No, I'm not saying you need to restrict yourself, but I'm saying you need to have a little bit of guidelines during this time because there's going to be so um, many opportunities for you to go off your nutrition that it can slowly just creep into your regular daily habits and you don't want that to happen. So Find um, a nutrition plan that works for you, that's easy for you. I have mine. I'm not going to really share with you guys what I'm going to be doing, but you know, I, sh I, I picked how I will follow my nutrition plan throughout these 60 days. I also picked like, for instance, for a time, instead of not putting any, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow myself to have wine once a week. Um, instead of not saying anything and then having wine every single day, that's not going to get me to where I want to go. So kind of, like I said, make a plan. You could even write. I remember I did a, um, a challenge right before I went to Cancun and I took out the calendar and I wrote, okay, these are the days that I can have wine. Um, these, you know, these are the days that I'm following my nutrition. This is the day I'm going to have off for my nutrition. And that's the second thing is, or the third thing is to choose the days that you are going to allow yourself just to live, um, <clears throat> and have no guilt about it. So maybe you are going to like on Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving weekend. For myself, I have no restrictions. I, I'm not gonna follow any certain plan. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Yes, I'm gonna be mindful, but you know, put those in the calendar. That way 
you know that you're not just going to blow it on Thanksgiving weekend and it's going to follow it all the way until Christmas or New Year's because that's what can happen if you don't create a plan. Um, so you definitely want to create a plan. The fourth thing that I recommend doing is finding a community, finding a group of people that are doing the same thing that you are doing, that are working towards the same thing you are, because there is going to be a lot of people that aren't just not, that are just going to, like I talked about before, just going to shut down and they're not going to work towards any of their goals over the, over the holidays because, because it's the holidays and that's their excuse. Um, but you are making it a point to make yourself a priority. So there are people out there that are doing the same thing. You can find a community where you're gonna get account accountability, support, and motivation. And, and you know, you're kind of, it's kind of like surrounding yourself with those people so that the other people that are not doing what you're doing isn't, aren't gonna bring you down. Um, that's super important. I know for me, when I went through Max 30, if I wouldn't have had the support I had from my private Facebook group and my wellness groups that I, I probably wouldn't have has shown up every day like I did. So find a community of people um, to give you support and accountability and to help you get through these 60 days. That is super duper important. And then the last thing I would say is after you set your goals, maybe set um, something where you are giving yourself a reward at the end of these 60 days. Um, I wouldn't make it like a food reward or <clears throat> anything like that because that's just like going back on everything that we're saying. But maybe make it a reward where you're going to give yourself an hour massage or you're going to buy that outfit you wanted to wear on New Year's Eve. You know, that red dress or that black dress or whatever it is. Um, but find something that excites you and that you can push towards. And if you hit that goal, that you will get that and you will spoil yourself with that. So those are basically the five tips that I have for you guys um, today. I've gone a little bit longer than I wanted to. I am um, opening up my wellness group and I'm going to actually keep it open for 60 days. I usually only do 30 day increments, but since this is a really tough time for people, I am going to get be getting everybody into this group this week so that we can support each other. We can find the right exercise program for you. Instead of you having to come up with this plan that I talked about, I can basically come up the, with the plan for you. Find out the right program that is for you. Find out the right nutrition plan that is for you and set out the plan with you. So. Um, my coaching is free. When you join one of my groups, I can help you with that plan. So it even takes less of that off of you. And um, it's really going to be a really great group where you're going to be able to just rock out the holiday season. It's not going to take extra time. I promise you. It's not going to um, stress you out even more. This is going to help with that holiday stress. It's going to help with feeling good at the beginning of the holidays. So if you're interested in joining this group that I have starting in November, please drop your email below. Below. I will get you all of the details to register. We'll talk about your goals. We'll figure out what program is going to work for you, what nutrition, and I'm going to coach you through day one through day 60. So along with being in that private group where you're going to get all of the accountability and support that you'll need to make it through those days. So I'm super excited about this time of year. Um, and I'm super excited to see all of you in this group. Drop your email below, send me a message, and we will get um, you guys going on that. So I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend, and I will be talking to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.